welcome to another video by Outdoor Intrigue. We are in Wales, we're in Brecon Beacons and it's snowing! Well it's not actually snowing, it has snowed to be more accurate but it was snowing on our way in. Um, we've walked probably about 100, 200 meters from where we parked the car and we're going to be out for three nights and three and a bit days. It's Benny's. Hey, we're here, we arrived, made it safe. It's pretty crazy on the roads, there's a huge amount of snow on the motorway. Coming over we drove from Brighton on the other side of the coast and then over past London and down and through the middle of the UK kind of to get over and it's absolutely crazy snowfall. Um, obviously it's already fallen here, no snow falling, but it's impeccable conditions. Beautiful. I'm so excited. It's nice and chilly too. And it's fresh snow. Yeah, I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping there's thick snow up there too and we'll see what it's like. We're heading up to just below Penny Fan. There's a little lake, like a little tarn just below it. We're going to see what it's like to pitch up there. Got a couple of hours until it gets dark, so we'll check it out. We've got tent, sleeping bags, snacks for the next few days. We've got ice axe and crampons just in case there's anything that's particularly dodgy or we want to go and find some challenging terrain. We'll see how it goes. The yeah. adventure has begun. It's, uh, it's looking good so far. Exciting times. I think it's Meg's first full winter wild camp in this kind of conditions. Yeah, first time that we've been out together in snow and I've ever been out in snow um, so yeah it should be fun I'm looking forward to getting the pegs in the ground which should be an interesting challenge considering it's well actually here's okay here's not too bad using the uh, walking poles but yeah looking forward to it I love snow it makes everything look so pretty especially when you're in a city this is different and beautiful anyway but when you live in a city it makes everything all calm and peaceful and covers up all of the scars that we've put on our landscape as human beings so yeah exciting times so uh, yeah we're gonna get some decent walking in maybe like a an hour or two not really sure depends on how long it's gonna take us over the ground get the tent up have a pretty chilled first evening and then we're gonna summit Penny fan tomorrow I think we'll do it tomorrow yeah, yeah. and for anyone who is uh, a gear or a weight geek like me. I'll, uh, I'll give the camera to Megs quickly. Um, weighed the packs before heading out and all in total weight I'm carrying including a litre of water, cam three kilograms of camera gear and all the rest of the went away. I'm 14.4 kilograms so heavy for me uh, but not too heavy for full winter kit including everything that's along with it. So yeah camera lens GoPro power pack for that. Got a tripod on there as well. <laughs> tripod, ice axe. Ice axe. And Meg's, here, Meg's including a litre of water, was 13. 12.8. 12.8. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's 13. again pretty reasonable, not too bad. Um, you know, for full winter, we're expecting to have minimum temperatures, including wind chill on the mountain, around minus 13. Mm. Um, air temperature itself probably only gets it down to about minus six, minus seven, maybe. So cold, not, not the coldest I've been in, but cold. Uh, definitely cold enough to feel it. So yeah. All right, anyway, let's get going so we can uh, get up and show you some more sights. Let's do this. Bye. <laughs> Monsters, aren't they? They are cool, those. It's a good tent. That's Kesha the dog. Hey, Kesha. Hey, Kesh. 
set up on our polar expedition. It's pretty chilly right now, wind chills. Crushing the temperature. Like seriously crushing the temperature. So, wow. This is a little lake, the edge is frozen. We've got quite a chunk of ice. Beautiful in the snow, it's gorgeous out here. Got the Terra Nova pitched up. The Southern Cross, I haven't pitched it out fully yet. I'm gonna get it tight in a second. Just kind of put it up initially. It looks like a nice complaint. The packs, nice snow. It's really cold, really cold. Minus four, but with the wind chill. More like minus 10. And look how deep the snow is. Really deep snow. tucked up and it is just coming up for 10 o'clock well 35 minutes past nine which is pretty late for winter while camping and we're both in our sleeping bags here um i'm sorry we haven't filmed much this evening but obviously we met up with uh scott and pete and it's been really enjoyable just um taking pictures and chatting talking about wild camping gear well, obviously a lot of gear talk everyone loves wild camping gear and taking all sorts of pictures, <clears throat> all having to pose for different shots. Got some awesome starry Got sky some pretty ice cool, axe. Yeah, the stars kind of came out a little bit. We were doing some different shots and Spare shining around. head torches into the sky and get up light in the tents and stuff, which was really fun. So mm. we've kind of just been doing that kind of stuff and, and chilling um, more than filming anything. But um, we're still out for a few more days, so there'll be, I'm sure, loads more footage future me if you're watching this there'll be loads more for you to edit <laughs> <laughs> uh what else yeah it's it's pretty chilly the air temperature right now is about minus four minus five um which is not too bad but with wind chill when you're out in the wind it's really cold but where we are it's really still mm. and in the tent itself it's pretty warm right now yeah i mean I'll slowly start I'll shedding some yeah layers. i need to take some more of my layers off right now we've just kind of tucked up so warming up yeah it's been wind. really good everything's worked really well no issues at all the gas with a new gas cooker that has the um little compression system in it the soto um wind burner is so impressive even in really cold temperatures it just works perfectly um and, it, and it's so quick which and is nice these hand warmers have been an absolute win yeah like little hotties little hotties hand warmers are yeah. awesome always they're great we cracked these at like five and it's still yeah. still a small furnace four hours later still burning hot they're always good winter camping get yourself a few of those to take with they're great yeah. really awesome yeah your new down jacket's been doing well too yep it has kept you toasty it's a so good test of any of the new winter gear and personally i love winter while camping there's something about it that's mm. just the best i just love being out and when the snow's like this as well it's that really lovely soft puffy snow it's not wet mm. snow um, it's just incredible. So tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and clear the whole day, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and we're going to be up on the summits, which will be nice. So we'll be up early in the morning to try and get some sunrise shots and get some cool pictures. And then, uh, yeah, two more nights out. So plenty more adventure, loads of stuff to do and see. Uh, yeah, it's just exciting. It's so nice to be out. I just feel good already. And like yeah. also with the snow, like a massive kid in the playground, like, ha, 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 it's so fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get tucked in and comfy, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. Unless anything really exciting happens, 
and we'll bring you back. But it's unlikely at this point. Yeah, yeah. it's exciting in the sense that I will be sleeping like a baby. <laughs> For the next 10 hours, Megan will be yeah. fast asleep. Um, and to be fair, I probably will be too. <sighs> Mountain sleep is the best. Mm. All right, guys. Sleep tight. Don't let them bug bugs bite. See you later. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Morning everyone, <laughs> bright and early, just after seven o'clock and it's cold. It's a good night though, slept well and now we're up before sunrise so we can get things ready taking some pictures hopefully we have some beautiful light going on shortly the lake's nice and still pretty frozen here's some tents Scott beating his breakfast up <laughs> Morning notes with raspberry. Oh, lovely. Very nice. It's Kesha the dog. Kesha. <laughs> and the other tent set up. Nice and warm. Come and have a look. Space for one plus dog. Sorted. Plus large dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's a summit up here, and it's just starting to hit. I've been out since five, taking some starry pictures and freezing myself. My body's warm, but my toes and my fingers, toes and fingers are really cold. But I've had coffee and some dried mangoes, and now I'm doing a little stay warm dance. Do do. Ooh, chilly. Ah gonna get some more bits ready pack a few bits away maybe make another warm drink to be honest and need to get my toes warm yeah that's where we're at at the moment looking forward to this light coming in and should be a really clear day today the forecast is clear and sunny all day into tonight as well so tonight hopefully we should get loads of stars which will be beautiful I think it dropped down to minus seven and then last night obviously wind chill made it a lot colder but we were pretty sheltered had this little sort of ridge around us nice little lump protecting us and there's yeah still thick snow everywhere right let's see if megan's alive and come back here uh, shortly morning guys so we have packed everything up as you can see it's about 10 past 10, half past 10, um, and we are going to go up to, that's not Penny Fan, is it? That's Penny Fan. Yeah, that's Corn and Dew, and that's Corn Penny Fan, the second one over. So we're going to go get ourselves up on the ridge line, do Jacob's Ladder, get all the way up to Corn Dew, do Penny Fan, have some lunch probably somewhere up there, and then make our way down and find a night two camp spot. Uh, Got crampons on, first time, gonna be using those and first time properly using the ice axe, so that should be fun. Uh, pack is considerably lighter after dinner last night and snacks this morning, so I'm feeling a lot, a lot better about that. Put hand warmers in my shoes because my feet are freezing. <laughs> These boots are not winter boots at all. Um, they're great, super waterproof. Um, they're my Scarpa ones, Scarpa Gore-Tex, or something there's a blog post on the website check it out um and yeah i think these guys are running away from us so we better go oh yeah <laughs> we'll head uh, off and we'll our platoon are making their we'll, way off so we will catch up with you guys in a little bit take a few photos all right yeah
Right, see you up there.